feel like we're in bloody Antarctica. <laughs> it does feel a bit like we're in the we're Antar in the Antarctica. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on the pillow, David. Yeah, I'm, I'm up high. Tall. Hello and welcome to another <laughs> booktube video from me, Lauren, from Lauren and the Books, and me. Who are you, David? Beardy David, that's what no, I always call just David. him. David. Like, oh, don't I always call you Beardy David? Yeah, yeah, say, oi, BD. <laughs> Welcome to, um, this is a vlog. Beardy David, he's the star of this vlog. We couldn't do this reading vlog without him. I don't think Booktube would exist without me. No, it wouldn't. So, this weekend, David is attempting, for the first time ever, to read a book in a weekend. I mean, well... I mean, technically, I have read a book in two days before. What book? Remember, Wonder. I read that very quick. Oh, did you? Yeah. Well, don't tell them that. I'm giving them an exclusive and you're ruining it. I lied. It was four days. <laughs> that was probably in the middle of the week anyway. This is weekend. So, David, this weekend, is going to read a book this weekend. It's Friday night. It's... You're getting excited. You're getting ready to show what book it is. Yeah. It's Friday night. It's quarter to six seven and it's cozy reading night tonight so that's all live so that's well it's not going to be three hours of reading because that's going to be it's yeah. going to be a bit of chatting and a bit It'll of a bit eating much. food and stuff like that um but david's going to read a book and the sort of conditions of this are that i am going to read only when david is reading so normally i would spend well i spend at the very least sort of two to three hours a day reading don't i i'd say about that but yeah. now i'm only able to read when david is reading <laughs> So for the whole shock weekend. For you. <laughs> so, David, what are you planning on reading this weekend? I am reading Fraggle Rock. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you had that set up for? I didn't even know he had that. <laughs> You're such a knob. <laughs> Where did you think that would be? <laughs> He's not reading Fraggle Rock. <laughs> Tell her. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I was still when I went to get the book, I was like, I'm going to do a little joke here. What <laughs> are you actually reading? I am reading. Oh, my face is hurting. Oh, I am God. reading The Appeal by Janice Hallett. Look at, look at that placement. Yeah, and you've sorry. done it right on your face. I oh, know. I'm reading The Appeal by Janice now, Hallett. Now, Janice Hallett, this book, The Appeal, is one of my favourite books from last year. And an absolute page turner, guys. Absolutely full of page turning activity. <laughs> Still can't believe that about Fraggle Rock. <laughs> uh, um, I read it in two days and I probably, if I had, we had something to do, didn't we? I can't remember what it was, but I remember sat here yeah, last you summer was glued and to just it. not being able to put it down. So David is going to read it this weekend. The two books that I am reading whilst David is reading that, and these are both, I'm um, sort of about, well, I'm actually only halfway through this one, um, but I'm going to finish these off this weekend and start something else. But I don't know what, what are you doing? No, I don't want Fraggle Rock, fuck's sake. <laughs> but I am halfway through um, The Sentence by Louise Erdrich, which is Erdrich, which is on the Women's Prize for Fiction uh, long list. This is about, it's very shiny, it's a library book. Um, this is about, what are you excited about? It's 450 pages. He's going to do it, don't worry. This is about um, a woman who has been in prison for um, a crime that she did not know she was committing. Um, and then when she gets out, she takes up work in a bookshop. And on All Souls Day, not Our Souls Day, David, All Souls Day, um, one of their customers, an, an annoying customer, um, dies and visits the shop for a year as a ghost. When is Our Souls Day? Our Souls Day. I don't know when our sales day is. So Maybe April the 1st, because I hate April the 1st. I don't it is April, April the 1st today, David. Although that was a pretty April Fool's joke yeah, that I just you did. played. April Fool's! And then the other book. I've got to have this read by Sunday night, because it's book club with my pals on Sunday night. And that's People of Abandoned Character by Claire Whitfield. We are Whitfield! <laughs> I just remembered that. I haven't realised that the whole time we've been doing it. That's from, that's from um, This Christmas, which is one of mine and David's favourite Christmas films. Um, and this I've got about 150 pages of. This is a... Um, it's, it's a fictionalised... Fictionalised book, imagine, about Jack the Ripper and a woman, um, a nurse, marries a young doctor and begin with their relationships very sort of like fizzy and passionate and everything and then quickly it becomes sort of controlling and awful and then he disappears every night and comes back and oh, in blood so this, and stuff so this like doctor that. is Jack the Ripper? Well, it was never found out who Jack the no. Ripper was, was it? But it, And I wonder how it's going to sort of resolve oh, this at I the mean, end. 
Um, but yeah, I've been enjoying it. Um, so yeah, so those are the two books I'm planning on reading this weekend, and then anything else I get done will be a bonus. Um, but yeah, so we're about to start cosy reading night. Oh my god, in 15 minutes I've got to go and do a little bit of dinner prep um, so that we're not leaving the, the live audience hanging. And uh, yeah, David's got to start with Frazzle Rock. <laughs> Fraggle Rock, Frazzle, Frazzle, Frazzle Rock. rock. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll check in after Cozy Reading Night. Yeah, to see how we get on. Because you're going to be talking about it there. Yeah. So I'll link the Cozy Reading Night live show down below if you want to sit through three hours three of David hours. chomping on sandwiches and eating all, all night. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, we'll check in afterwards and um, David will give you a little summing up of how we're getting on. And yeah, I won't be reading until he starts reading. Oh, wow. You excited? Yeah, I am. I'm excited too! Cozy reading night is over. It was lovely, wasn't it, David? Three hour live yeah, show. Yeah, very good. We ate some barn me and enjoyed all of Although that. Although I would say, not that this is a bad thing, but oh. on, on the live ones is the probably the least amount we you ever read. You don't get as much reading done, do you? No. I'm molting so much. A mini but, hair. But well, you shouldn't be doing it. No, but it's you? also mini hair, David. Yeah, but, that was what yeah, was but when, when you sit and do that, that's not me. That's your David hair. David gets cross when I pull my hair. Just, um, anyway. Never mind all that. How much did you read? So I read 75 pages. 75 pages. He wants to read 100 pages before he goes to bed tonight. David, how are you finding it? Fucking love it. He has been loving it. He's been gasping. He's been giggling. He's been... It's the... Yeah, I'm grabbing it. my tea. Oh. He's been... Rolling my eyes. Rolling his eyes. Constantly. He's been saying, oh, I just love this. And tell us the reasons why you've been enjoying it so much. We're talking about The Appeal, obviously, by Janice Hatlett. So, I still have no idea. Like, I'm... I'm not even like... Which is rare, because normally I'm already kind of looking forward to thinking... Oh, I think this is going to happen. I think this is going to happen, but I'm not. You're it's very much because, in the moment. Because I'm in the moment, and I'm enjoying it so much. I'm not even thinking about the next page. I'm just loving what I'm um, what I'm taking in at that specific moment. Izzy is so fucking annoying. Who, who is? I love she's very her. annoying. What I will say is that Cara, who I work with, she listened to the audiobook of it, and she said that they cast it amazingly because the voice is so annoying of the person who does it. Oh, I bet. The, and I can picture. I kind of want to listen to a snippet of it so I can picture that voice in my head. And I'm just loving all that. The little, like, because you, it's for obviously all the people who've read the appeal. It's like all like emails and text messages and stuff like that. Um, is there any other form? I can't remember. I think there might be like parish council minutes or something. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah, because I've seen yeah. like a poster from the and Poppy letters Appeal. And stuff. Yeah. So, but it's mainly, but it's mainly emails and well, mainly emails really, yeah. and then text messages. It makes a and quick reading, doesn't it? It really does. I mean, I've had to flick back a few times. To He's got a little special tab. Do you want to show the boys and girls a little special tab? Spell. Yeah. So it's the yellow one. That's but where the. That's that where just the, to who's. Oh, so no, that's everybody from who? the yeah. Pretty much everybody who I think I need to know, and I'm and I'm guessing at some point. I mean, there's a handful of people who I know now, like pretty much all of these, majority of these people, and then then and then Samantha on the other side. Yeah. And is is he on the other side as well, or no, is, is he, Isabel Beck is here? Is he's on that side? But yeah, and I just like like it when just like a, a, a different almost conversation starts up with somebody else, and then. You almost kind of have that in the back of your mind thinking, oh my God, I hope that comes back at a later date. The only thing which I need to get better at doing, which I'm not, is reading the dates. So I'm yeah. not necessarily keeping on how much time is passing well, in between. You've still got quite a lot to read though, haven't you? Like when you look at it that way, yeah. 445. But so. yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. Good. So yeah, the, the, the so, challenge... So you could, be, you could be safe assured that if if I don't do it this weekend, it's not because I've not enjoyed David, it. David, you've got to do it this weekend. That's the challenge. Yeah, but challenges can be failed. Never. You would never fail a challenge. Well, I certainly have done in the past and I will do again. I'm not saying this is going to be failed, but I'm going to give it my utmost. There's nothing like setting your mind to it, is there? If I am going to fail it, guys, I've given it my best well, go. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like, because, like, it's a lot of pages to read. Yeah, but I think, just think about, you've read that in three hours. That was like, That's a Friday evening. Well, they're not even, you've got two not more even three hours. Yeah. Oh, it's an hour and a bit. You've yeah. got two full days. Very exciting. So yeah, while David's been reading that, I've read. I'm, I'm down to. I'm three quarters of the way through. People have abandoned character, and I'm two thirds of the way through um, the sentence. Um, looking forward to finishing both of these. I've enjoyed both of them. Um, 
I've just got, I'm, I'm concerned about repeating myself because I've just spoken about these quite a lot during the live show uh, and I don't so know what Didn't you talk about them in the... Yeah, I think I did. In the first part of this video. I'll get those finished. I imagine tomorrow, at least one of them will be finished tomorrow. Now it's 10 o'clock and we're going to watch the Great British Menu um, banquet thing. things. We're excited to watch that. And um, then maybe a little bit more reading before you do some PlayStation and then I go to bed. Because, as you remember, I'm only allowed to read when David's reading. David, I even feel a bit warm now. Good. Which is good, because we're not having the heating on. Right, should we watch it then? Yeah. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Bye. Best day ever. David's just said to me, look, I'm just going to read. And he's just started reading of his own accord. He must be very, very into it. So I suppose I better get back to reading of my own accord. I'm going back to people of abandoned character because this is what I need to. I'm taking, I'm taking my socks off. I'm so warm. I'm taking my. I mean, these are the warmest socks ever. Let's go. Well, here we are going to bed. It's twenty to midnight. David has read a hundred pages. A hundred and one pages. He did say he wanted to be on page a hundred before he went to bed tonight. However, um, I've just coerced him into reading a little bit longer because when I'm going I'm to the toilet to and brushing my teeth, I like to read while I'm doing that. And as you know, the rules are that I can't um, I can't read while David's not reading. So yeah, I'm going to. Um, I'm going to have a little more read of uh, people with, of abandoned character. I would say I'm like five, four fifths of the way through, or five sixths of the way through. Um, Where's my book? It's you behind you, David. While David reads a little more, and uh, we'll see. But isn't he doing well? I'm so proud of him. Now, David has tennis in the morning, and normally, when tennis is going on. I um, go for a run around the park where David's playing tennis. You just get on with your read. Oh no, don't read yet. Um, I go for a run around the park where David is playing tennis. It's one of your beard hairs, David. Thank you. Um, and <sighs> then I read while he's, because I get around the park quicker because I'm doing Couch to 5K. What's he excited I just noticed that front cover. Ooh. He's absolutely obsessed with it. Um, however, I've got period pain and I don't know if I'm going to be up to doing it. And to be honest, I feel like maybe I could do with the rest in bed. Um, other plans for tomorrow is that we're meeting a friend of ours for, well, what's supposed to be coffee and a cake. I don't drink coffee, nor does David, but me and David are going to get lunch at a local yeah. little cafe, which will be a quite nice little break up for the day, won't it? Nice. Um, and normally we do our chores on a Saturday, but we're actually going to end up doing those on Sunday, we yeah. think. I might have a little sort of chores light tomorrow, maybe do some washing and uh, maybe do a little bit of it. Yeah, that's a good idea. What are you itching on your bum? Hmm? What are you itching on your leg? My bum. Yeah, I, whenever I say what are you itching on your bum, you always say, it's actually, it's my leg, I'm actually at well, my it's, leg. It's, if it is my leg, I'll tell you if it's my leg. If it's my, <laughs> but it's not my bum hole. <laughs> I didn't think it was just... bum hole. <laughs> bum hole. Um, yeah, so that's the reading plan for the rest of the weekend, I guess. Lots of reading tomorrow. Oh, I'm sat on my hot water bottle to heat up. It's so cold in here. It's 15.7 in this room. I mean, luckily we've been under a blanket all night and I've yeah. just put my hot water bottle under here to, to heat up the bed. Do you feel warm enough? Yeah, I feel fine. But feel you say tired. you're warm enough, but you never, ever wear a T-shirt in bed. No, but it's because I'm not going to sleep yet. Oh, and I'm on sleep. camera. Oh. I don't people seeing me boobies. Boobies. Right, okay. Let's go and do a little bit more reading and then we'll have one little sum up before we go to bed and you can be excited about your book, yeah? Yeah, and then TikToks. And then David can watch his TikToks and I can go to sleep. I'll probably listen to a podcast because no audiobooks because that's reading. I did finish my audiobook earlier on today. Right, I'm reading. Sorry, better get on. I was like sneakily reading, thinking oh, I'll just keep reading until David wants to stop reading. And he's just hit a bit in it, and he's just shouting, oh my god, oh my god. There's just no good places to stop, are there? No, there's not. Because it's just, it's all this good. It's constant, it's just constant. I should have stopped at the minutes, but I was too far. I've gone past it. I don't know when you'll get a chance to stop I don't it. know either. The stuff you have all night. <laughs> and I'm just going to keep reading until he stops reading. <laughs> well, who knows? I'm just going to be reading until is. tennis in the morning. Imagine. So that's good. What are you on? 118. Do you want to just turn around and poke uh, at the camera? Yeah, hold on, hold on. 
Here we come. It's a big movement. He's going the long way round. He's going the, he's right going the long way round. <laughs> Here we go. Back to... So he's read 118 pages. Yeah. He said he could just carry on. I could. <sighs> You're really enjoying it. I'm loving it. Really? Yeah. I'm so happy. So yeah, well done you. So in one evening, you've read 118 pages. Has that ever happened before? I don't think so. I don't so that's probably so. about. What's such a tummy ache? It's probably about two and a half hours worth of reading. Yeah, pretty good. My tummy hurts, David. Um, but yeah, I guess now it's bedtime, isn't it? And you're going to watch some of your TikToks, are you? I'm going to watch a, a handful of TikToks. Well, no, probably a few TikToks, yeah. I'm going to go to sleep. And then we're going to wake up in the morning and see if I'm up for tip. going to the, to the uh, park for. Yeah. Even if I don't run around, I suppose I can walk around. But sometimes when you're on your period, what I need is just sleep. Yeah. And the weather. Oh, yeah, if the weather's bad. I mean, it's oh, going to be... Minus one. Well, it's going to be four degrees by the time we get there. So it's, it's going to be cold, but it is going to be sunny. Yeah. I'll see how I feel. Yeah. I mean, I can't read while you're gone, can I? Well, the other thing we were going to do is we're going to sit in the park and read for a bit, but it'll be too cold, be to, too do cold that. to do that. But that's fine. Then we're going to come back and read, then we go for lunch. So. Yeah. That's okay. Oh, dear. Oh, all right, then. Well, I suppose we better go to sleep then, Betton Way. Yeah. Betton Way. Paul Betton Way. <laughs> Morning, friends. Oh. David did go to tennis, I did not. My period pain was really bad throughout the night and I think I just needed an, an extra hour in bed. So I was in bed till half past nine, which was lovely. Um, and I've just got up and had a shower because we're meeting a friend for coffee at midday. Now, normally, ordinarily, on a morning when I wake up, I'd make myself a cup of tea. Oh, actually, maybe I should go make myself a cup of tea. Make myself a cup of tea, sit in bed and read for a half hour. Then when I'm drying my hair, I'd be reading and things like that, but obviously, I'm not allowed to read this weekend unless David's reading. And David's not here, he's currently driving back from tennis. He has said when he gets in he wants to do a little bit of reading, so I'm trying to coincide that with um, drying my hair because I just don't like any dead time, guys. I like there to be all time accounted for if I could be reading. So I think I'll go and make myself a cup of tea, maybe listen to an audio book. And then hopefully by that point, he'll be home. Oh, and... Um, I'll be able to do a little bit of reading while I dry my hair and he sits on the bed and read. He's very excited about the book um, and I'm very excited about the possibility of finishing one of my books today. What book do I think I'll finish today? I imagine I'll probably, just because I'm closer to the end of it, come here you guys, I'll probably finish People of Abandoned Character. I've got less than 100 pages of that left. I'm on 355 and it's 419. So yeah. There's every chance I'll get that finished, but also I'm about two thirds of the way through this now. I'm on 250, and this has got 374, so only 125 pages of that to read as well. So, yeah, one of those will get finished today, maybe both. I don't know. I guess it's quite a lot of reading time this afternoon after we've been out for for lunch and there's no plans for tonight unless David wants to watch a film, but he might be so taken by his book anyway. I'll let you know when he's back and if I'm doing a little bit of reading whilst he's reading on the bed. He might want to shower first. I need a cup of tea first. I'm going to go and do that. Just finish brushing my hair. Well, he's still not back yet and I've got changed and made a cup of tea. So I think we're going to have to go for the sort of age old scroll through your phone while you're, uh, while you're drying your hair method. Um, so yeah, I'll start with me emails. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. It's not plugged in. I haven't been doing any reading. David's back. Show He's yourself. Back. He's bought rinse aid. Do you want to come and just crouch down here? Oh, I don't know if I can. A little bit. How was tennis? It was good. Good. Might be able to perch. Oh, there we go. Have you perched? Oh yeah, that's perched nice. There. A lot of dead space there, but just, to just focus space. on this, this side. Yeah, you can put, you can put um, some pictures of me playing tennis if you've got any. I haven't got any pictures of me oh, playing tennis. Maybe put in some of a professional. Um, how was tennis? It was very good. Was it very cold? It wasn't too bad. Did you so warm basically up? one half of the court is in the sun and the other one's in the shade. Yeah. So 
basically you was you was hot one minute. Well, not hot, but you was warm one minute and then yeah. cold on the, on the next. Oh, good. But yeah, Emma won six four. It was a very good game. But well done, Emma. I think the old tiredness just kicked in. So the yearly scores, if anybody's interested now, is Emma is three sets to two up. Oh, well, is that that's Emma's winning? It's so Emma's winning, yeah, yeah by okay. one set. I don't understand. So out of the five Don't weeks we played, football. <laughs> I made you a cup of tea. It might Thank be a bit cold. Much. That's fine. Um, are you happy just to sit on the bed and read for a bit while I read and dry my hair? You know what? I've had a thought. I'm probably not going to read this weekend. Don't be dumb. <laughs> I'll save it for Monday. Is that okay? You just sit there and yeah. read just for ten I mean, minutes. You haven't got to ask me to have a little read. Are you excited? I thought I was expecting you. I wanted to have a little read, but I thought you was going to say no. Get in the shower. No, have a little ten minute read while I just oh, finish well. drying my hair. All right. Um, were you tempted to read when you woke up this morning and I was asleep yes. going out me and I, I, I nearly did because I thought I should have done really because, you know, because as soon as I finish the book, you can just do whatever you want. Yeah, I know. So I suppose it doesn't really matter. So but I should I have taken advantage. That's true, but I want to be able to read at some point today. I've been, normally, yeah. I said, normally I've like made a cup of tea, sat in bed, done a bit of reading. Oh, no. And I haven't been able to do any of that. So I've just been no. scrolling on my phone. I put some of the washing away. I made a cup of tea. Yeah, in that sense, I do feel a little bit bad. What, that I can't read until you're reading? You can't read until I'm reading. Yeah. But It'll also, be okay. You feel powerful, powerful. powerful. <laughs> cool. All right, then. Well, right. Um, go on, then. Get your book All right, and get reading. All right, just pop this into the kitchen. And then I'm, I'm happy I can read. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. Jesus. She's a psycho. <laughs> She's an utter, utter psycho. How are you finding it? That's rubbish. You don't like it? Oh, you smell like... No, no. You like... smell like the outdoors and like you might have been playing tennis a little bit. Yeah, I know. Fresh sweat. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there we go. I read it for a little bit and dried oh, my hair. <laughs> David read for a bit on the bed like a little cutie pie. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I suppose we get ready. God, my tummy is killing me, you know. I don't want to go out. <laughs> you want to st Can I take my book? You've never felt like this about a I've, book I've before, never felt like you? this about a book ever. Do you really? Like, I've, I've enjoyed did you, books. Did you tell I'm... Emma how much you were enjoying yeah. it? Yeah. That's the first thing I said to her. Yeah. Who is Claudia? 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 God. I don't want to leave until it's done. <laughs> <laughs> it's on page 128. So you want to be on page 250 by the end of today? Yeah, I, I mean... You uh, definitely will be. I definitely will be. If not, I'll be further. Because you want to just be involved with it all. What happens to life when the book is over? <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. Right, should we get ready then? It's ten past eleven. We need to leave here in about 40 minutes. Yeah. You get ready and then if there's any time left, we can have a little more read before we go. This is going to be the quickest shower I've ever had in my life. No laying on the bed air drying like no you normally does. No time today. Well, you could lay on the bed and air dry, but you're not going to be reading. Read. Yeah. Bumped it out the end. Here we are. David's had to interrupt his reading to walk to the cafe for a little bit of an absolute luncheon. Um, i tell you what though, this little walk, it has really sorted out my period pain, David. Makes me think. American Beauty. No. It makes me think I should have gone with you for a walk around the park this morning while you were playing tennis, but. Oh, I was very cold. Mind. Yeah. And I think I needed the sleep. Yeah. What do you think you're going to eat? Um, I don't know. We've never had a sit down in here before. Uh, little, I never have. I think we've sat outside when they first opened up the outside. No, I've, I never have. Oh. I've never eaten it. I, I've had takeaway. Well, it'll only be, well, unless you get like a jacket potato yeah, or something. Yeah, I know. Only... So I was thinking I might have a jacket, but jacket I'll potato. probably end up having a chicken and bacon. But yeah, I've got I think I might have the, it's very messy though, but the vegan meatballs. The meat. Oh, yeah, yeah. With the sauce is lovely, but very messy. And then, depending on how warm it is, we might sit in this here graveyard. I'm not sure if it will be. And uh, have a little 10 minute read, David. We'll see. We'll see how we get on. We'll see. The washing machine's on, so do ignore that. We're back from the cafe. I had brie and cranberry panini with a bit of salad, lovely. And then we had a Oreo Easter egg cake. A couple of cups of tea. Sausage egg and bacon. Sausage egg and bacon baguette, which is very unlike you actually, David. I know. I don't think I've ever known for you to have a sausage egg and bacon baguette. It's not really my bag. But the two people we were with were also having sausage egg and bacon baguette, so David had that. 
So we haven't done any more reading. It was, it's lovely and bright outside now, so much so that the, 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 the sun sort of heated up this room. <laughs> this is a vlog about David reading a book and about how we're not having our heating on anymore. But we're back now. What time yeah, even is it? It's 20 past two. David has been chomping at the bit to get reading his book again. I really am. Even as we were leaving, he was like sat there reading a little bit more. So he's been reading loads. He's doing so very well. Um, and what so do you want to do well. now then, David? Read. Just You just want to read all day? Uh, maybe not all day, but I definitely want to read for like, maybe at least like till four. Look at so this like gorgeous hour and 40. baby. But we'll just see how I get on. Mini's I'm just, just gonna... manoeuvring. So my aim into... is, oh. I'm on a page 135. So I'd probably say what I'm a quarter through, just just over a quarter just through. At the top. Yeah, probably. So I would definitely like to get up to maybe like 300 by the end of today. Yeah, and that leaves maybe you with 150 three, maybe, pages to read tomorrow. Maybe 350. What page are you on now? I'm on 135. Oh, so you definitely could do it. I mean, I'm definitely. I. I better get going. I've yeah. still. Obviously, still same position. That light coming through is just absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Same position. I think I'm going to read a bit more of the old Louise Erdrich. And then I'll finish off People of Abandoned Character. Hopefully. So shall we then, David? Minnie's there. I'm here. You're here. Sun's, sun's out, gun's out. Let's go. Well, what an afternoon of reading we've had, David. We have. How long did we read for, do you think? Oh, I think about an hour and a bit. Let me have a look, because it was when my mum first sent me a picture of that glassware. Sent me the picture at 14.19. So I think we were reading for an hour and a half, David. And how far are you now? Page about 200. 203. Stop <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I still haven't finished a book, um, but I'm very close now. I've probably got about 50 pages. Mm. No, more than 50 pages. About 60 pages of the sentence and about 10 pages, I think. Look at that, David. No, you can't really see. I'll take it. You're almost halfway. I mean, that's the plan, isn't it? You want to be halfway, but, over halfway by the end of today. Uh, yeah, I definitely will. So I'll have a, like, another two more sessions today. Very good. Yeah, I was just feeling myself starting to drift a bit, so I thought I'd stop. You're right. You're right to do that. What are we going to do now? Because tonight for dinner, we think we're going to have jacket potatoes. Is that what you want? Or do you want something else? You want that burger, but we can't have that burger. It's cheeky, isn't it? It is quite cheeky. We'll have it another time. We said that we wanted... Yeah, we did say we wanted jackets, didn't we? You have to come in for a big, nice cuddle. Oh, I feel like... No, you come here. My hands are cold. I feel like I'm... Aren't you cold? No, I'm all right. I'm just... I feel quite tired. I feel like I'm a being so sweet. Um... We're going to go to the farm shop now and get some, that is nice and cuddly, go to the farm shop and get some jacket potatoes. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go to the charity shop? Uh, yeah, might as well, as we're out. I've got we're a, collecting, a petrol in the car can, anyway, can you so. push me up? <laughs> <laughs> we're collecting bits of um, coloured glassware for our wedding um, later on this year, we're, we're getting married. We're engaged. Um, and we're having um, a very colourful sort of like theme and we are wanting to, to decorate with and we wanted to buy everything second hand. Um, so we've been going to a big charity shop near where we are um, to buy various bits of like candlestick holders and glasses and little pots to put things in and tablecloths. We've done very well so far, haven't we? Pots to piss in. A pot to piss in. My dream was that it was all going to be done um, with charity secondhand stuff, stuff charity stuff. Um, and then at the end, if we don't want to keep it all, then we can give it back to charity shops so no more stuff has been created. However, I, was, I wasn't thinking it full fully because the candles, the actual candles are going to have to buy new, aren't we? But I mean, they're going to yeah. go. But that's... You just went... <laughs> anyway, the battery's flashing. So let's go farm shop, charity shop, and we'll meet you back here for a bit more reading and I'll show you what we've bought. If anything. By the way, my niece has been trying to put her thumbs up and she takes so long doing it, she's like, she's only three, but when she's trying to put her thumb up, it's so cute, isn't it? She's a silly old thing. Right, we'll see you back here then, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, you won't believe this, for the first time ever, we've been in our favorite and bestest charity shop. What did we come out with, David? 
Nish. Empty hands, nothing. There was some very cute little tiny sort of like, I imagine they're sherry glasses or something, but look like mini wine glasses, um, which would probably be quite nice for my niece to drink from on the day. Obviously attended to by an adult, um, but it had a chip in it and we're not doing that. No candle holders. There we go. But luckily my parents are away at the moment in France and they've sent me some photos of some tat that we're calling it that they've bought us there. So yeah, went there, went to the farm shop, got jack of potatoes, carrots. We want to try with, with tops on because we want to try and make um, uh, pesto out of carrot tops. We saw it on Great British Menu. Uh, what else did we get? A Swede, tiny little Swede, so cute. Um, Brussels sprouts, we're gonna have a roast dinner tomorrow with a vegetarian haggis. Um, and then salad stuff for today. I got a couple of figs as well because I've got some cheese. Oh, I must get that cheese out of the fridge now. David's sister bought some cheese along with her last week for Mother's Day and left me the remnants. Um, so I'm gonna have the rest of that cheese tonight after my jacket potato. So jacket potatoes for dinner tonight. I'm having cheese on top of mine. Mm, should I be having cheese if I'm having cheese? <laughs> I'm having maybe beans, I don't know. David, what are you having on yours? On well, my jacket? Yeah. I wanna put a couple of them drumstick things in. You're so far away, look. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just home. What time is it now? About half past six? Yeah. Half past six, I'm gonna put the jacket potato, the jacket potatoes are in the microwave, then they go in the oven. Uh, then we're gonna do a bit of reading. We're going to watch tonight, oh God, my finger hurts. Um, we're going to watch tonight The Bubble, which is a new film that's going on Netflix about a, um, a action film that they're filming. The film is about an action film that is being filmed or like a, a series of action films that's being filmed and they're filming it within a COVID bubble. It is a um, comedy and it's got, Someone in it called Harry, I think the surname is Trewaldine, Trewaldine, who, became, who I follow on Instagram and find very, very funny. And he's in this fucking film, which is amazing. So yeah, uh, looking forward to watching that, but hopefully we'll have some, some reading done by then. How much reading are you hoping to get done? We're just gonna read until the jacket potatoes are done. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, bub. We'll read until dinner's ready. Yeah. And then maybe have a little, a little sesh before A bed. little bedtime sesh. Yeah, and that's it. And then I hopefully, so I'm on 202, I think if I can be anywhere over 250, I'll be pleased. I think you've done quite well to keep this relatively spoiler free as well, David. Yeah. Because you haven't given any spoilers, just that you really hate Izzy and she's really annoying, which yeah. let me tell you, you get that from basically the, first, the, the first, first email you read yeah, from her. The first <laughs> so, part you read from her, you think, I reckon yeah. she's going to be annoying. Um, so I reckon before, I can just see the kettle finishing now because I'm about to make tea, before, before we eat dinner, I'm going to finish one of those books because I've only got a few moments She's left. She's been saying that all day, am I no, right I guys? Have, but I am planning on finishing <laughs> one and then, um, yeah, I want to finish the other one tomorrow. They'll definitely both be finished this vlog. I promise. Right, David, you can't read yet because I've got to go make the cup of tea. No, I need to read. <laughs> it's making me so happy. I finished! I finally finished a book. I've been promising I will, haven't I, David? Yeah. That's David scratching his um, stomach, if you're wondering what that noise is. I hear that all through the night. David scratching, like when I scratch some part of my body, sure it sounds like scratching, but David scratching, Oh, you're making me scratch. he's on the other side of the room, when he's in bed next to me he scratches and when he is in bed, I mean I love him, when he's in bed next to me he scratches, <laughs> he makes you. the whole bed move and it's so loud and it wakes me up. Anyway, we're not here to talk about that, we're here to talk about the book that I finished, People of Abandoned Character by Claire Whitfield, I'm discussing this for my book club and my mates tomorrow night. Um, I thought this was Fine. It is a retelling of, um, or it's a sort of Didn't historical, <laughs> a, his, a historical fictionalised account of the women that Jack the Ripper murdered, um, told from the perspective of a woman, Susanna, who uh, is a nurse at a hospital and marries a young surgeon there who's very handsome and everything. To begin with, their relationship is very passionate. It quickly sort of fizzles off and then she begins to suspect oh sorry Minnie she begins to suspect that he is um Jack the Ripper I enjoyed the sort of like setting of it the Victorian setting and I enjoyed um the I enjoyed Susanna and the way she spoke to people um and the women around her it had a sort of like a bit of a Rebecca vibe in terms of Mrs Higgs the housekeeper at Susanna's house with her new husband was very much um of a, of a Danvers type um but yeah, in terms of like, I don't know. I don't know if it's a bit, I suppose this is the case with any sort of books based on something, but I never know if these sort of things are a bit disrespectful to the actual people who died at the hands of Jack the Ripper. I don't know how I feel about that. But yeah, 
it was definitely readable, page turnery. I'd never even heard of it, so it's always fun to like read a book um, that someone recommends that I'd never even heard of it. So yeah, I'm glad I've read it. The front cover's very nice, but yeah. So the jacket potatoes are in. David, David, what page are you on? Oh, he's giving me this. My favorite sweetie. What page are you on? 222. And he wants to be on 300 by the time we go there? Between 250 and 300. Mm-hmm. Should we have a little bit more reading time? Yeah, we're going to read until dinner's done. Okay. Oh, there is something else I want to read. One minute. I also want to read the April section of my almanac, my seasonal guide to 2022. I'm reading this as the year goes by and enjoying it. So I think maybe I'll carry on with this, but I also want to read the April section of this as well before I start any new books. Let's go. So how was the film, David, would you say? It was It was too long. It was, <laughs> it was too it long. It was half an hour I too long. I didn't mind it. No, I did like it. Uh, there were some very funny moments in it. Yeah. It was a very good cast. Yeah, very good cast. But Even yeah, like good just, cameos as well. It's a very good cameo. Yeah, it was literally, the only thing I can find wrong about it was just half an hour too long. And I, I, I like a 90 minute film, so I yeah. would always say all films that are over 90 mm, minutes. Look at me like, sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're in bed now. It's actually really early. It's only 10 past I know, for a Saturday night. I feel absolutely pooped. Yeah, so David's plan is to read until he wants to fall asleep. You don't want to be like forgetting any of it. No, 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 so. What are you looking at there? Oh, it's just a, a hotel that I'm staying in this week. Oh. Um, I just want to see how far away it is from um, a restaurant. Um, so yeah, David's going to read until my finger hurts. Yeah, so, so I'm over halfway. Yeah. So I'm on to page 242. Are you so glad you're reading it in one weekend, David? Yeah, I am. Do you think you would have been able to put it down if you had not been reading no, it? No, I think he, I, I definitely think if I would have been doing this, now. not in this particular environment, I yeah. definitely would have had it read within a week. Yeah, because you're just so yeah. into it. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Oh, God. So, yeah, My so engagement I've got really just over me, 200 David. pages left. Yeah. So if I can get to. What so are you I'm on? on I'm on 242. Oh, wow. If I can get into like the seven, like two seventies. There's okay. been some big revelations in the last sort of reading session before we started eating dinner. Yeah. You were like, oh my God. I mean, he's been, oh my God, in the whole time. Yeah. So I think if I can go for like maybe half hour, just see how far I get. Oh, okay. Well, there is a chance then that I could get this finished tonight then if you're going to go for half hour. Yeah, well, well, which is, I mean, I could go for longer. It just depends on how I feel. I'm feeling much warmer now. I'm in my bed with my hot water bottle plugged Good. in. Very nice. Right, okay. So should we do a little bit of reading, I suppose, but put my glasses on, otherwise mm -hmm. I'm not going to be able to feel... In one minute. In one minute, okay. Yeah. That's fine. I'll polish my glasses for the one minute. Polish your glasses. You are. Uh... I'm so proud of you for doing all this reading, David. Thank you. Do you feel accomplished? Is yeah. it hard work or is it because you're enjoying the book so much it's it doesn't feel like no, hard it work? Feel like hard work. Yeah. That's very good. Because I thought I was going to think, oh, I'm not reading enough this weekend, but if anything, You've been saying, I'm going to read, Lauren. You need to read. If you're going to read, you need to read now. Mm -hmm. Those glasses are so smeary. They'll have to do. They'll just, I can't read yet. I'll have to wait. David, stop reading for the minute. Mm -hmm. Or can't you? Quickly. I've just finished this book. Well done. That's good. Um, yes, it wasn't anything like I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be much more ghosty than this. This is about um, somebody who works in a bookshop. And on the first day of All Souls Day, do you remember this? Do you remember back when I said All Souls Day and we joked about Our Souls Day? Mm -hmm. um, one of their ex-customers of the bookstore starts coming in. And I thought it was going to be very much based around that, but it's not. It's got things in there about Native Americans and Indigenous people, which I really enjoyed reading. It also follows the pandemic. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, yeah, and um, the Black Lives Matter movement and mm -hmm. things like that. So it was a lot more sort of current than I expected it to be, a lot more current than I realised it was when I started reading it. Um, but yeah, I thought it was okay, I found it quite gentle I guess. I did, it did note, look, it said the sentence begins on All Souls Day 2019 and ends on All Souls Day 2020, so I should have known that. But yeah, I don't know why I wasn't expecting it to be so current, so yeah. Enjoyed it. How much more reading time do you reckon you've got in your... Uh, I don't know, I'm just going to keep going, see what happens. Okay, what page are you on? Uh, 269. 
I'm wondering whether I should go and get another book. Oh, well, what I will do then, I'll just read my last bit of my almanac seasonal guide of April. I'm just about to read about the cuckoo. What noise does a cuckoo make? Cuckoo. What noise do your fingers make when you're picking your nails in bed when you're reading? Shut up. You shut up. <laughs> Turn on over, David. Show your face. David now knows who has been murdered in the book and he's just yes. been talking me through some of his suspicions of who he thinks might be the murderer or mm. what the motives are. Um, are you going to carry on or are you stopping now? Or? I'm going to try to read a little bit more. Oh my God, what page are you on now? 280. Oh wow, you said you wanted... One, two, three, four, five. You said you wanted to get to um, between 250 and 300, mm -hmm. so you're definitely there. I'm hitting the mark. Congratulations. I've got such a... Well, my skin is terrible at the moment anyway, but on top of that, I've got really dry hands. Oh god, this facial oil smells lovely though. Um, so basically, basically, just do. Do you want a little notepad like um? Oh god, what's her name? Jenny, what? when she's on the uh, goggle box, who's watching? Uh... Oh right, so. Oh no, you can't say anything because no, there's no anything, spoilers. But I now know when the murder, like the events that's led up to the murder. To the murder. So yeah, um, I have picked up The Bread the Devil Need by Lisa Allen Agostini. Um, this is one of the Women's Prize for Fiction longlist books. Oh, that was, you know when you've just got the driest hands ever and you, put, you probably don't, David, because you just live through dry hands when you've got them. When yeah. you put cream on, it feels like your hands are having a lovely old big drink. Also, where my engagement ring was, it was really, really sore. I oh, no. hope it's not a sign. <laughs> Minnie, what are you being so cute for? Um, yes, yeah, so this is a um, uh, women's prize long list book it is about alethea lopez she's about to turn 40 she lives in port of spain um and she owns a boutique there behind so it, it opens with her having uh, been beaten up by her husband the night before and getting the bus into work the next morning and talking about the bruises on her and things like that it also talks about a book that she's been uh, reading and uh yeah i think it's gonna be interesting it's from a trinidadian author so that's exciting and yeah, let's, uh, sorry Minnie, let's, well, let, let David, he's already started reading, I'm running behind. Sorry. He can't stop, can he? Um, David has decided to end the reading for the evening there. I mean, you've read for an hour. Yeah. And what page are you on? 284. Oh, lovely. I'm only nine pages into my new book, but I already feel like I'm enjoying it very much. I really like, um, so the Trinidadian way they speak. So instead of saying, like, some things like this, bed sheet is very yellow they'd say this bed sheet is yellow yellow or if something okay. was really really yellow they'd be like this bed sheet is yellow 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 and i just love it <laughs> talking about there's something here saying and the small small block of cheese from the little uh. fridge the clothes does be bright 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 i just really like wow. that so yeah looking forward to getting more into the turn of phrase but anyway one thing i was supposed to ask you david is how do you feel reading that book and only and you know there's going to be a murder and you only find out about it halfway through do you feel like it do you think it added to it for you knowing that there was going to be a murder or would you have been yeah well i wasn't sure if the murder was going to happen at the end yeah so i'm not sure I mean, it's not halfway through, I guess. It's more than halfway through, isn't it, that you find yeah. out who has been murdered? Because it says, because the back end of it says, and ends with a tragic death. Oh. Maybe there's more than one death. I can't remember. Do you know, I enjoyed that book so much last year, and I can only remember, like, very small parts of it. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to you telling me, actually, what happens in the end. Yeah. I've, been, I've been enjoying you being like, oh, this is what's happening, and this is what's happening, because we've tried to avoid sort of plot points in here for anyone who wants to to read it but um quite often i'm like oh yeah i sort of remember that person or, oh that person worked at the hospital as well and uh yeah so i've got about 100 and was it 80 i don't know about 170 pages left nice and tomorrow the only thing we've got to do is chore chores oh i've got book club in the evening but that's fine i can uh, crack on with that and then we've got the last episode of peaky blinders Oh, we're gonna film. A, we're gonna film a video tomorrow as well. Well, loads to do tomorrow. Yeah, actually, we have got loads to do because I've got to film that video and then upload it as well. So, <laughs> but we can have a little read in bed in the morning, yeah, which we'll I do right. love. Done. I do love that, David. Right. Do you want to say night night to everybody? Night. Do you feel warm? Yeah, I feel fine. Good. Couple of heads on the bed. Couple of pee heads. Morning, David. Your feet are so cold. Oh, 
Do you want the hot water bottle under them? No, I'm okay, thank you. Okay, he'll warm up. Where's the baby? Uh, she's on the um, sofa, snoozing. Oh, what have you been doing while I've been away asleep? Just having a bit of a play on the PlayStation. And you're ready for reading now? Oh, I'm ready for reading. He's just made me a cup of tea and he's coming in and he said, I'm ready for reading. Oh, I could put my glasses on. And I wasn't even really awake. So, Sunday, plan is get David's book finished. Chores. Chores, film the podcast. Film a podcast. Film the podcast. It's a. It is a. Yeah. Film the podcast episode. questions. Film the podcast questions. Have you filled them in? No, not yet. You need to do that as well. No. Um. Have roast dinner. And watch Peaky Blinders tonight. Yeah. So I suppose we better read now, then, shall we? Yeah, read for an hour or so. Okay, read for an hour or so. Swap Remember, I'm reading this now. Breakfast time, mistletoe and wine. Do you remember Christmas, David? Yeah. Been a long time, hasn't it? Hot cross buns for breakfast. I've got a tomato, a red Leicester and uh, tomato one, which smells lovely, and a St. Clement's one, which has got Mediterranean citrus peel in it. David's got two of those because he didn't fancy the cheese and tomato one. Why didn't you fancy the cheese and tomato one? I just didn't fancy it for breakfast. Just eating it like that, like a slice of pizza. So yeah, <laughs> David hasn't stopped reading even when I was making breakfast. Even though I said, "Please don't read while I'm making breakfast." Guess what? I read. You just can't stop him. You just can't stop him now. He's just a reader. Um, so yeah, and they know about the murdered person. Onwards. I'll start with the cheese and tomato because that's main course, isn't it? Oh, we're deep in Sunday, aren't we, David? We are. I've had, I've had a lovely Sunday so far. Chores. We filmed a really lovely chatty film video, which will be um, already up. Uh, and we haven't really done much reading, have we? We sat down and did a little bit of reading after chores. Yeah. But um, how much you got left? Um, I think about 70 pages. How much are you planning on reading for now, David? No, I mean, I mean, we'll just see. We'll just we see, go. shall we? So, yeah, yeah. I'm going to... Um, I'm just putting some hand cream on, which is a bit silly, isn't it? My hands are so sore, David. What can you do about it? I can't do anything, I'm afraid. Can't you do anything about it? Um, I've got a whole entire knitted outfit on. <laughs> it says, living for the weekend. And I've got the knitted trousers to go with it as well. David's sister bought it for me for Christmas. I think I've only worn it once before. It's a perfect Sunday outfit. So yeah, I guess we'll just crack on then, shall we? Let's just crack and, on. And um, what time is it now? It's 20 past four. Would you like to be done before Peaky Blinders is on? Yeah, I think so. So shall we have a good sesh of it now? And see what happens. Let's do it. Yeah? The bread the devil need. David's just finishing his book off. He's got three pages left. The roast dinner's almost done. I think he's done very well. We'll check him when he's finished. He's finished it! Good? Very good. Very, very good. Are you pleased? Leave that in because the person who wants to read it might want to borrow the little tab. Oh, okay. I was going to move it down a little bit. Okay. You enjoyed it, did you? Yeah, it was very, very good. You felt gripped throughout. Very gripped throughout. Who would throughout. you recommend it to? Uh, nosy little buggers like me. Nosy little buggers like David. Did yeah. you like it all sort of unfolding and it you finding out stuff as it unfolded? Yes, I did. Sorry, I'm just concentrating on trying to put Well, this concentrate on this, David. You can put that sticker anywhere, anytime. Yeah. My, um, my little Sorry, what did you say? Say again. I said, did you enjoy it unfolding and you finding out about it as it was unfolding? Yeah, I did. In, I did. I very much enjoyed it. I was... I never really fully made, um... As assumptions as who I thought done it, because I was just enjoying the journey. Yeah. But as... So, towards the end of it... Towards the end of it wasn't as good as the initial finding out I remember of also I'll come all the way in the frame I remember also feeling like that because I think it's so sort of like you're so into these emails going yeah. back and forth back and forth that when the emails stop you're a bit like ah oh, I like yeah, those bits. I love the emails but, but um, that's not to say that the wrapping up isn't very no clever. no the wrapping was cool and I like the way how uh, Femi and Charlotte they come to the conclusion of who they who they thought it was 
and you know like motives and things like that yeah it was very clever and yeah it and was how just... was the experience of reading a whole book in an afternoon in an afternoon in a um, in a weekend because david it's only quarter past six i know i really thought i'd be going till like midnight tonight <laughs> yeah yeah but um yeah it was it was fine but obviously where the way it was set out it wasn't like not, not all, but uh, but i mean it was like 450 pages so it's amazing there's still a lot of a lot of words yeah, in there. Yeah, lots of pages. Mm. Obviously it wasn't like so your, is it? Did it deliver as you hoped it would? Or was it better yeah. than you thought? Oh, it was definitely... Yeah, I think it was better than I thought it was going to be. You enjoyed it more than you thought yeah. you were going to? Yeah. I'm so pleased. Well, well done, David. You read a whole book in a whole weekend. Well I'm so done, pleased mate. with him. So, I finished two books that I'd already started. So, during David's reading, I finished um, People of Land and Character, The Sentence. I also read my passages from my almanac. Look, my, my hair's gone absolutely wild. And I am... Um, oh, God! I'm halfway through this! Almost halfway through The Bread the Devil Need, which I'm very much enjoying. David's just burping in my ear there. Thank you, David. Um, we're now going to go and finish off our roast dinner, because it's almost done, isn't it? And then I've got Book Club at eight. But... And then we've got... Peaky. Peaky Blinders at nine. It's an extended episode. You say it's an hour and 20? Yeah, well, somebody... I thought they're fitting in for that last 20 minutes. Somebody told me they thought it was two hours. I remember when we'd done your live show on Cozy Reading Night, somebody said two hours, but I think they're wrong. Well, imagine. But I'm going to confirm it, so don't wrap up just yet. Don't wrap up just yet. Because people will want people, to know. Well, it's been a long day, people but this, would have this will have gone now. up on Thursday. Yeah, it is uh, an extra 20 minutes. Okay, so. no, 20. Lovely. So, yeah, so that's the rest of our evening. Thank you for joining us on this uh, reading vlog uh, where yeah. David read a whole book. Amazing. Would you like to do it again, or do you think it was very much that book? Uh, I that definitely kept you think, going? Yeah, it's got to be a book that's going to grip me like that again, because yeah. I feel like if it was just a... Uh, just your casual book, I might struggle. But that was. Uh, but that was so exciting. Just your casual and, book. Yeah, I don't know if. Uh, I mean, maybe reading the other one. Yeah, give the other one a go. Cool. All right then. Well, thanks right. so much, and we'll see you all again soon for another butcher video. Goodbye.